Hi, this is John Thresen here, the Jerusalem Psychotherapist. This week's Torah Psychology class to Pasha itself is going to discuss the fresh start effect. In psychology and research, it's, they've coined this idea of the fresh start effect, which means that a person can start afresh and come up, come up with, a, with a plan and a, and a renewed energy and motivation to, make, to bring about changes in their life. And what the research finds is that this, this is often at t- a certain times, certain temporal landmarks, whether it's a birthday, the, whether it's certain festivals, the beginning of the year, beginning of the week, end of the week, we see that the person often attaches t- to certain times, certain dates and events, uh, a certain a, a significance and a meaning that gives them this renewed, uh, a renewal of energy to start afresh. So what the researchers try to, to, to look at through this fresh start effect is to try to manipulate and take advantage of, of times and events and situations where a person can tap into it, tap into this time to, 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 make, to take advantage and make the most of this energy of, of starting afresh and how it can hopefully motivate them to, take, to start and make a fresh start and bring about positive change in their life. What we see often when people try to make changes is that they actually they jump from one event to another, one significant time, one New Year's resolution to another New Year's, New Year's resolution the year after, and it's not maintained. And these fresh starts are actually a, a, a symbol of, of, of weakness in a sense, or, or a, sim, a symbol of, of a, a faulty motivation, or motivation that is based on weak foundations. So yes, there can be times where, with significant times, birthdays or New Year's, where we feel a, a sense of, of, of motiv- a motivation or renewed energy. But what we need to do is to recognize this and try to make sure that we really start afresh and are able to maintain this in the long run. And I think if we look at this week's passion, we can get that we can understand a little bit about this fresh, fresh start effect and also see how perhaps it can be maintained because what we see is that the carbon oiler was burnt throughout the whole night. And then the next day, the Kairin would take the ashes, he would remove the ashes, and this would be put outside of the camp. It would be removed completely. And then the Kairin again would start the avoda and would again would burn the next carbon, the carbon oiler, which would be burnt again. And then the next day, the Kairin would remove that, the ash and would take it outside of the camp. So with Shibshan Fahal Hirsch, explains and points out that this avoider, this repetitive avoider of the kohen, of each day burning the carbon oil and removing the ash of the previous day and then burning it again, burning the carbon oil is a sense of repetitiveness of the avoider, but in fact what is happening is that, as Shimshon Falho says, is that we are removing the ash from yesterday. Yesterday is in the past. Yesterday's avoda has been done and is finished and we are removing it and we are starting again. We have a new avoda today. And this is the, the mindset we're saying that, that the, the Kohen has and the message that we get from this avoda is that each day is a new avoda. Each day is a new opportunity to, to look at it as a fresh start. And I think this, this, from a psychological perspective, relates to the fresh start effect because in life there can be a repetitive cycle. Every day this repeats itself, day after day, and there's a monotony. It seems to be that we are engaged in the same avoider, the same task, from one day to the next, and it's, it's, there's no freshness, it's just monotony and it's depressing, and we, a person can enter into a state of despair from this repetitive cycle which they can't escape. And what the avoda of the kohen, of the carbon oil, the messengers of Shem Shem Fahal Hershey says that each day it might be the same avoda. It's the carbon oil which is being burnt one day and the next day the carbon oil is being burnt, burnt again. But each day is a fresh opportunity. A fresh opportunity. Today's avoda is not the same as yesterday's avoda. What happened yesterday, the struggles of yesterday and the challenges of yesterday can be recognized, can be acknowledged, can be burnt and can be removed. And then we start again today with a fresh energy to focus on our current task, on the here and now. Because in therapy, there's often there's this sort of spectrum that we look at between past and present and future. And what is the focus in therapy? So we are we trying to look at more in the past? Are we trying to look more into the future? And then there's often therapies that focus on the here and now. And I think in, in general there's a there's a general consensus 
that we want to focus on. We want to take the whole picture of the past, present and future, but we want to help the person at the end of the, therape at the, end of the therapeutic process to be able to feel as if they, start, they, they have a fresh start, that they are a new person to a certain extent. And this is the, this is the message of the carbon Euler. And this is hopefully the, the, the message that a person can take, is that now is the day, today is the day, where we will start again, and there will be a, it's a, it's a fresh opportunity. And this is the week, this is Shabbos, this is Shabbos HaGadol, this is the, the great Shabbos. So if we are looking for temporal landmarks, we are looking for certain events, this is the great Shabbos, to make it a great opportunity to start afresh. But how, as we said, how do we ensure that we are able to maintain that? How do we go from one day to the next? It's not that we are, the, the, the message of the carbon oil and the explanation of the Shem Shofar is saying that we should just skip uh, almost impulsive, in an impulsive way from one day to the next. Okay, today is, my, is a fresh start. Okay, fine, the next day. Today is, a, now is my fresh start. Which actually lacks a certain continuity and it lacks uh, a, 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 a commitment to a real change. We're actually looking at the process, and it's interesting that the Pasuk also explains with the, with the Mizbeach that there was always a fire, a fire that constantly burned on the Mizbeach. It was never extinguished. And I think this is a message that even if every day there is a new opportunity, it's a new avoda, we're focusing on the here and now, there's always this constant of a fire. There's always a constant within us, within us to focus on our abilities, on our talents, on who we are, to ensure that we have this constant of of tapping into who we are and what we want and to really believe in ourselves. That is the constant that we try to make sure that our internal fire is never extinguished and it goes with us from day, from one day to the next. So even if we have this opportunity of seeing, of looking at each day as our new fresh start, our new opportunity, the continuity and the, the guarantee that this will be successful in the long run is to really ensure that this, that our internal fire our talents and our abilities and who we are is, is kept alight and it's kept healthy and burning. And with that, we can move on and we can be successful and every day can be the fresh start that we need to ensure that we are successful and healthy. And, and healthy. Have a great Shabbos and keep well.